We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. It's game one of the World Series between the Colorado Rockies and the Kansas City Royals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Looking at these two squads, it's clear both of them have several guys that can hurt you with the bat. It's not just the middle of the order guys that you have to look out for as a pitcher. So the team that gets the timely hitting and quality at bats is probably going to prevail. It's the moment these players have been waiting for. Game one of the Fall Classic is on the show. And it's coming up next. Singer gets the call on the mound here at home for game one of the World Series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. <laughs> Leading off tonight for Colorado, the designated hitter, Ahmed Gilson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that's taken for strike Go. one. Yeah. Seven oh five. Fine, great. Trying to bunt his way on, but this has popped up. But uh, this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Now the 0-2 pitch. And now a slider what? is swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is set down to open up the ball game. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. And he'll try to take control of the inside oh, part of the so plate here as that misses. And 2 and 0 as this one's taken low. Our game one thermostat, about what you'd expect for October 55 degrees at first pitch. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle. And man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Trouble waiting on deck as Bryce Harper hits next. And that's going to find the alley. Extra bases here for Lowry. And he'll pull into second with one away. As we take a look at the replay here, you can see that it was a hanging changeup. Nice job of staying back on it, and he's able to tattoo it for a double. And you know, if that pitch would have supplied more velocity, it might have been out of here. He hit it right on the screws. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Down the, but sometimes the one, it doesn't work for me, so I, I make sure I do it manually. Like if, if what I would do, what I, I've had mine on, I suppose it'll do it. If you leave your PlayStation on, it'll do it. Pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And Just when they're make sure in that mode, off getting you them to go after whatever you they do can't tomorrow. do much with becomes a lot easier. Runner in scoring position with two games. Strike two up in the zone. I'm doing a fire with three. Lowry at second with two down. <laughs> a swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. Ah. And that will retire the side. Rocky <coughs> strand one. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. Got out of that in. Got to win the pennant, baby. Got to win it. Aaron Savali is on the mound here on the road for game one of the World Series. 
What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty B, this ought to be exciting. This is one of the top <coughs> young uh, pitchers in the game I'm right now. Go back he forth. keeps getting better. He keeps learning. And if he continues at this pace, this guy has a chance to be one of the more reliable yeah. pitchers in the game. I'm going to try to. I'm going to mess with it and try on Twitch as he looks at the ball to start the inning. 1-0. And this winds up inside for a ball. 2-0 and now. Okay. Too tight with that one. 3-0. I need to add you up on Facebook. Yeah. Swing and a liner. And a base hit. So early trouble to lead off the inning. <laughs> Not everyone feels is, uh, comfortable pulling the clutch on 3-0 pitch right there, but he stayed within himself, didn't try and do too much, didn't turn and burn, and just hit a nice, hard single on a 3-0 count. At the plate, Aaron Boyes batting left-handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Outside for a ball, one and one. A runner at first with no outs here. Mm -hmm. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. But this is speared by the first baseman. Got him hurt. A chance now from the K to have a look at the starting nine for these Royals. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, we all know it. The man to watch. Giancarlo Stanton. Looking at his stats, I was really impressed with the fact that he's hit four bombs in his last ten games. Lately, he's been the guy to watch, and I think he's ready to do some more damage right now. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar, as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. First chance for him here with a runner at first and one gone. And this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there. Runner at first here, one man out. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. High and deep down the left field line. Damn it, and this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. The 2-2. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And with two away here in game one of the World Series, let's give you a little refresher course at the roads these two teams took to get where they are tonight. Jim Carlos Stanton. And digging into the batter's box next will be Jim Carlos Stanton. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the belt, kicks and deals. First pitch here is a sinker that runs a bit too wide. It's ball one. The 1 0. Two out with the man at first. Check swing. No swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Evan Martin would be next. The three one. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. He's set. Here's the three and two. Holds off on the slider, and that's a good idea as it's ball four. Uh -oh. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. 
Evan Martin. Coming to the plate now, Evan Martin. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground is short. Gordon's got it. And the two-out threat will not come to pass. First pitch coming. Here it is. The wind up and the 0 1. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. One and two now. Now here's the pitch. That was a nasty sweeping slider right there. If he was able to just catch the back door a little bit, he would have picked up that backwards K. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And it's fouled away. Another full count pitch home. And that misses for ball. Oh, come four. on, so man. It's a off walk here it's to start the second. Squeeze. Oh, oh, boy. That's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering where the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. There's a first pitch slider that just tails out of the zone. It's ball one. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball, one and one. Longoria. Playing here in his age 34 season, he was taken in the very late rounds during the 2020 draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. So it was a swinging strike three. Evan Longoria goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. Marte is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Aguilar is off of first with two away. Fouled off. Yeah, if you long as if you make sure it's down, you can put it right up there. And a slider he, called hey, strike three. What's going to happen is it's going to gonna download and he's going to be like, you know what? I'm for fucking, I'll just stay up all night. Go to the bottom of the second, no score. No, I've never heard of Lama doing that. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. He set to lead off the whole half down. of the second. First pitch on its way. Don't make me get hunched in here. He'll tell you. Side. And Just do it. Soak it up. <laughs> so the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. I'll, hey, I'll, I'll leave, but if Jay's joining, I'm, I'm staying. Another base hit. <laughs> Leading off for the boys. This guy's had a monster postseason so far. Settling in now, Nelson Cruz <coughs> becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. <coughs> Looked like a sinker there, dipped a little below the knees. Cruz, or the boomstick as he's appropriately nicknamed. He was a fifth round pick during the 2020 draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Here it comes on 3-0. and And he finally gets a sinker over here for a called strike one. Oh, and a good pitch there as he had him fooled badly, and it's a full count now, 3-2. and two. Nobody out, runner on first. Swing oh. and a miss, and they'll come all the way back from 3-0 to punch him out. One away. I guess the pitch there, they can still strike him. So stepping yeah. in, Patel Marte. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Check swing, called strike, 0-1. Hey, it's nearly impossible to turn two with a guy that could run like this. 
it's even harder when he comes out of the box hitting from the left side. You really need something tailor-made to even have a chance to get him at first. One and one to count. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two and two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Swing and a ball lined down in the left field corner. But this will be foul. Bottom of the second here with no score. On the ground to second base. This could be two. One there. On to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. It's really tough to double up a guy with the speed that he has. And he was hustling all the way on this ground ball. So they should be happy they at least got the guy out at second. It'll be interesting now to see if he tries to use that speed again and swipe a bag and get into scoring position. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pitch outside, the throw. Poor base running there. Got him caught in the hot box between first and second. That steal is terrible. He's fast as fuck, but he can't steal. Striding into the box, Donovan Casey. And he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Edge of the zone that time taken and ruled a strike. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Another 0-2 home. Sports to third. Enduhar fields it cleanly. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Now batter, designated hitter, Ahmed Rosario. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The batter is second base. Yeah. Wow. So digging in now, Jed Lowry, one for one, as he reached base with a double his first time up. And he lays off there, 1-0. Shin high. That's taken for a ball. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. A strike, and it's three and one. Hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Fouled away. Right. Third inning, no score to this point. Harper behind with an 0-2 count now. You go down 0-2 to a guy with this pitch arsenal, you just got to find a way to shorten up and battle, put something in play. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Rocky strand one, home half of the third coming up, no score. Digging in now, Ezra Montalvo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The pitch. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, there's a long drive bullet off the wall right there, but the outfielder does a really good job, Vero, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there, not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, d -roll, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. A base hit in his first trip. The 1-0. -oh. 
line toward right center. Yeah, get in. And that I'm finds good. some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And he is in there. Danny, how frustrating is this right here? First and third, you got yeah, problems all over. The place. You come right out of the dugout, right? You're starting an inning fresh. You're expecting to have a one, two, three inning. You look up, and all of a sudden, first and third, nobody out. It's time to make some good pitches. to the plate now Aaron Boyes as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one 0 for 1 for him here in this one ball two a time to start making some quality pitches he finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base 2 0 count the pitch and he fouls this one off. Runners are at first and third with none out. Hey. Cutter, and that's a called strike two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Good time to try to put the ball down in the strike zone. You can either get a strikeout or a potential double play ball. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. And that's out number one. Mm, a long drive here. Nice long fly out. It's a long drive. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Here's a fly out, really. Here in the early going. Get me on the board first. He's set and the pitch. Chopped oh, in front of home plate. God damn it. And there's out number two. Well, now there's two out there, guys. Fuck. All right, Stanton. It's got to be you, man. Now batting, left fielder. Giancarlo Stanton now. First pitch on its way. And that misses ball one. Stanton is a very well-regarded defensive outfielder. Used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage. But of course, these days, there are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field. And in his case, he shines in many ways. You know, Matty, for me, I think he does pass the eyeball test. I know you have to look at all the numbers and the analytics to really appreciate a ball player like this. But man, does he come to work every day and play hard. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Two and one, here it is. Ooh, oh, I'm not sure God. I've seen a swing that bad even in a video game. It's two and two now. I understand wanting to be aggressive, but I also understand that you can occasionally be foolish. That's a foolish swing right there. This guy's... And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. That'll bring in Ramon Laureano. Here's the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Uh, I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And boy, which of those two numbers leap out at you there? How about the 100? My goodness. Hit high and deep out to straightaway left. Back goes Stanton. Yeah. On the warning Woo. track, he the makes track, the catch. The wall. Now into the box now, Evan Longoria comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. An outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike Down number two. Borderline pitch right there. But as a low ball hitter, you can live with that as long as the umpire doesn't give him north as well. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ball game for the Rockies thus far. Popped up. Martin over to his right. And that's the third out. <laughs> one, two, three, go the Rockies. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Oh. 
So coming to the plate, Evan Martin. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And Verdugo goes in front. Two balls and no strikes. Hey, you want to talk about being in the zone? This guy's been raking lately. And it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher. Just go ahead and challenge him. Oh, he called that a ball and a strike. The count. Jeez. The 2-1. Well, that's off the plate. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. And there's a called strike at the knees as he was hoping for a base on balls there, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. No runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 3 2 one more time. This is popped up. Longoria is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now that the designated Here's Nelson Cruz yes, now. Sir. He was a strikeout victim Cruz. in his first try. Now here's the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Hit on the ground out to short. Gordon gathers it in. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Man, there's just no excuse for a middle infielder to make a play like that, especially your shortstop. Looked like a routine play, but for some reason, he just pulled the first baseman off the bag. It happens, but you never want to give a team extra outs. Cattell Marte is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Cruz, the runner at first with two gone. And a very low strike there. <laughs> Trying to speed up the game, perhaps. It's 2 and 1. Grounded to first. He's got it. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Royals leave one through four. Still tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back to Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City. We send it down to Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Rockies skipper Bud Black between innings, specifically about his club's offensive output to this point. And he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at-bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward needs to be about being the aggressor early in the at-bats. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, man. Set to deliver on two and one. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Now to the plate, Austin Nova. He got called out on strikes his last time through. And he got him out in front that time. Strike one. Into the corner and slicing foul. Mm -hmm. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a swing and a fly ball. Right fielder is on the run, and no one will track it down. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0 2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today.
So now to the plate, Donovan Casey. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Runner on first in a double play situation. So you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And there we'll have to leave it there as this is strike that three, is. and that will Shut retire the side. <laughs> Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said he's been really happy with how many balls they've hit hard and on a line. Looking at the numbers, they've had seven total line drives. And even though some of those have resulted in outs, he says it's that kind of consistent contact that leads to W's in the standings. All right, thanks, Heidi. 2-0 and now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Harper. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. The batter number 11. Good job. Jorge. So the base is empty here with one away, and that will bring in Jorge Polanco to hit next. First pitch coming. Here it is. Nope. Ball one. One out. Nobody on. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Hit hard to short. Gordon's got it cleanly. And there are two away now. Ready for another shot now. Aaron Boyes. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Well off the inside that time as the sinker misses for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. He pulls this one into right. That gets down, and the inning continues. Now batting. The third base Into base. the box now, yeah. Miguel Andujar. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two-out single. Yeah, and that hit might not amount to much, but any time you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. This is why pitching is so difficult. You're cruising along to give up a hit. Now you've got to lock in and get this middle part of the order done. Throw over to the bag, and he'll be back in standing up. And again, a throw, keeping particularly close tabs on him. Boyes leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it, and the inning is over. One left for Kansas City. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. Digging in the switch hitter, Jed Lowry. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. Back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Hey, so far it's been easy pickings for this pitcher. He's gone through this lineup almost unscathed. But right there, leadoff single, middle part of the game. Let's see if he makes an adjustment before they do. Now here comes the Royal Skipper up the stairs on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. He'll depart with our score tied, and he'll still be accountable for the runner at first. And the best he can do is a no decision in this one. Oliver Perez takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. 
lays off 1-0. Perez is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. For a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Two balls and a strike now. Now the 2-1. Doesn't catch the outside corner. It's a ball. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher good battle here this will be the seventh pitch coming up hit hard on the ground to third there's one on to first so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play they played the matchup there and it worked out perfectly ground ball double play and that changes the complexion of this inning entirely. Too low, 1 0. A ball and a strike. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Swung on and missed. 1 and 2 now. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. One and two. Here it comes. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing for the Rockies. Still no score. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hit hard down the left field line. But this is foul near the seats. To two balls and two strikes now. Line but speared on a hop. Throw on to first in time, one away. Ready once again, Evan Martin. Now here's the pitch. Hey, this one's tied late in the game. As a pitcher right now, you just can't lay a cookie in there. One and zero. Oh. That evens it up. One and one. Bases are empty. One man out. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Name of the game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. Tries to go the other way as this is in the air to left field. Casey comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Now back, At the plate, Alex Verdugo. He was retired after popping out in his last at-bat. Yeah, pretty impressive if you ask me. So many times you beat a sinker into the ground, you end up ground. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Striding in for the Rockies, Jesus Aguilar. He'll look to get something going here in this scoreless ball game. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Struck him out. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. 
In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Down the first baseline, reined in. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now Two away now in the Colorado seventh. Yeah. And that'll bring in the speedy Nick Gordon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Two out, nobody on. Fastball called for strike two. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Three up, three down for Colorado. We are still scoreless. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now here it comes. Rounded to third. Taken in by Longoria. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. At the plate, Patel Marte. No hits to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. All one. And that Colorado bullpen comes to life now with a lefty and a right-hander up the throw. Here comes the 1-0. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. One out, nobody on. Too much dip on the sinker, yeah, laid off for a ball. Right. A bouncer up the middle. Gordon's got it. And quickly, there are two away. Now at the plate, Ezra Montalvo. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Yeah, he's got the outs when he's needed him and seems to be really comfortable okay. pitching from the stretch. Hard to keep that up over several innings, though. Late now, Jorge Polanco. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at one and one. From the stretch. This is line to left. And that's in there. Base hit. Talk about having a pretty special game. That's his third single of the game, Dero. Three or four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher is giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. Easy take there on the sinker well off the outside. Bobby Cox always used to say, I'm going to put you in positions to be successful. Well, against a modern-day bullpen, easier said than done. These guys are throwing flames yeah, from all arm angles. Hitters count. The pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. All right, seven hits. Seven left on base. Score 0-0 zero, zero after seven. Yeah. Seth Lugo has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. 38. Ready for another chance. Austin Nova, a hit in two tries so far. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. 
the left field. Riding in once again, Donovan Casey. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. Swing and a liner. Huh. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. That's got to be frustrating right there. You execute a pitch, a nice, good pitch right there. The batter's able to get a little lucky. Stay through it, caught it off the end of the bat. Not his best swing, but he's able to find a hole in the outfield. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And there he goes toward second. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. In the air to straightaway center field. Marte is there, two gone. The bat so it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next, the switch hitting Stanford product, Jed Lowry. No balls and a strike to count. The 0-1 offering pulled toward right center field. Marte will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. One left for Colorado, and this is still a nothing, nothing ballgame. Stepping in, Miguel Andujar. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. Now a right-hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. The 1-0. It's a slider that misses below the zone. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. Two and one. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. In the air, out to right. Harper has a read on it. One away. Digging in once again, Giancarlo Stanton. He was a ground out victim last time up. He said, here it comes. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, you got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. And that'll get down for a base hit. Got to be a little frustrated on the offensive side. Yeah, everybody's getting knocks and the batting averages are flowing right now, but nobody's come up with that big runner in scoring position, two out knock kind of feel that really is going to break this game open. Evan Martin is the batter now as he looks at a ball of 1 0. From the belt, kicks and deals. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Two and one to the Royals' first baseman. Pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Uh, three one. And he misses with it. Ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves into scoring position now. The right fielder, number 99. Right. So it's a tight spot here. First and second. One man out. And that brings up the outfielder, Alex Verdugo. Fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1 0. 
There are a couple of points in every game that could decide winning or losing. This is one of those critical spots. Time to make some great pitches. The 1-0 home misses for the second ball. What a great opportunity to come through right here. 2-0 count, runners on base. Find something middle of the plate and let it rip. From the stretch. Look out. All over the place now. 3-0. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Here it comes, the 3 0. It is looked at for the first strike. You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. And that misses for ball four. So the potential go ahead run moves Come on, over to third now. That's a big Set it up. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. So here's the Royals DH. Nelson Cruz. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys were looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Stanton at third, Martin at second, Verdugo is over at first with one away. And he won't bite at that well, either. Good. It's two and oh. Nowhere to put anybody. 2 0 count, not a good spot to be in as a pitcher. Look now the pitch. Here's a line drive. Get in there. It's down. It's It'll down, but if he come on. And then some. The go-ahead run will score. Two Unload runs score. those bases, baby. Oh, throw back in is a wild one. It's cut off. So all three runners are in to score. Three nothing. Boy, those have to feel Dominate. really good, d -Row. You get late in the game, you come up with a big RBI base hit right here to give your team the lead. Yeah, no one remembers that ground ball with eyes in the top of the second inning. You want to show up when the game is on the line. Can you quiet your emotions down, take the crowd out of it, and slow yourself down enough to come through? And that's exactly what he did. Call to the bullpen now as Luke Gregerson will take over here on the mound. Now back. So next to the plate for the Royals, Ezra Montalvo. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And it's down. Let's go. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. Well, that run won't be charged against him, but he's still disappointed. His job is to shut the door down when they call on him, and he just couldn't get it done there. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first will finally retire on the down, and will draw to the a game goal. Moves. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. We're on to the ninth here in game one. It's the Royals four and the Rockies nothing. Mark Inouye comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Mark Inouye. Stepping up now, Bryce Harper will be charged with trying to get on board leading off the ninth. Rarely do you see a closer come in when you have a comfortable lead like this one here. We'll see if he's able to keep his concentration. A lot of times, closers have a difficult time when they have that lead of three or more runs. Big curve ball right down the middle for strike number two. Ooh, I'm shocked he got away with that one, boys curveball right down the middle of the plate and for him to take that pitch looking he had to be sitting on something else but he should have pulled the trigger struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch out of the game 
A reminder that coming up after the telecast, <coughs> this game we'll one, have post-game highlights for you as we look back at the key moments of this World Series matchup. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball hit out toward right, right center. Marta is there, and there are two men gone now. Now that no. the first thing. So striding in, Jesus Aguilar. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the night. One and over like the count. Five or six year deal with the Phillies and Davis. Now the pitch. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, yeah. and now they're down to perhaps the final strike of the Let's get evening. Get out of here. Well, obviously somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Fouled off. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Hard on the ground towards short. Uh, a dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. That's a nice piece of hitting right there, Dan. He went heater up in the zone and then tried to drop the off speed, but he was on it. Boy, Mark, that's the oldest trick in the book, right? You use one pitch to set up the other. This guy wasn't having any part of that. Ball one to start the at bat. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Last strike now for Colorado. Fouled away. And another foul ball. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Another one sent foul. And he fouls this one off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses. Colorado. Go. Good, good night. night. It always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this game. starting pitching performance kept the opposition at bay and as a result he's our top player of the game yeah I thought he pitched really well he wasn't necessarily dominant but turned in a good solid effort and definitely was a factor in the win here the score tonight Kansas City win the World Series opener and take a one nothing lead.
Seth Lugo is the winning pitcher of record. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.